Welcome to our weekly meeting from Grace Community Church in Edenbridge. I'm Peter Mizzen. Now last week I spoke to you and this week I've tried to think about what I spoke about and try to live it. Just thinking about the points that I made. If you've suffered this week, and some of you have, I know, have you relied on the Holy Spirit to help you through that suffering? Have you behaved in a way that's different to the people around us? Have you stayed alert and clear-minded and sober-minded so that you can pray? Have you loved and forgiven and served others and brought praise to God? Quite a tall order, isn't it? But that's the life that we live as Christians. And before I was a Christian, I was quite cynical about Christianity. Just thought it was a, just another religion. Eventually, over the years, I became convinced of the truth of it. And then I had a moment when, on an Alpha course, I understood that it was all true. The Holy Spirit gave me that understanding. I remember fighting against the Holy Spirit and fighting against God, and eventually giving up. I surrendered. And today, we've have three worship songs and the first one that I've chosen is I Surrender and uh, that reminds me of that time. The second song that uh, I've chosen is a good old favourite hymn, uh, I Stand Amazed in the Presence. And I think when we become Christians we actually get a good understanding of what Jesus actually did for us and we are amazed what he's done. The third song is actually one that um, Dave and Sue and myself and um, Ruth and a few other people I think have put together um, by doing some tracks which have been done separately but have been put together as one song. I don't know how professional it will sound, but um, that's the way it was done. And I think that's a really good reflection of what it's like to be a Christian, because we are in this together, as they say. And I just want to read to you from Ephesians 2, verse 19. And this is from the message version, which sometimes gives us a, a different idea, a different way of looking at what the Bible says. It says, you are no longer wandering exiles. The kingdom of faith is now your home country. You are no longer strangers or outsiders. You belong here. God is building a home. He's using us all, irrespective of how we got here, in what he is building. He used the apostles and the prophets for the foundation. Now he's using you, fitting you in brick by brick, stone by stone, with Christ Jesus as the cornerstone that holds all the parts together. We see it taking shape day after day, a holy temple built by God, all of us built into it, a temple in which God is quite at home. So as we come to worship, and listen to Dave's talk. Um, bear that in mind and enjoy what God has given us. Let me just pray before we start. Dear Lord, I just want to say thank you for all your blessings to us, for building us together, for being with us through your Holy Spirit. Thank you for the love that you give us. And I pray that you open our hearts to worship and to listen to your word in Jesus' name.
I surrender. 